Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on determining whether two events are independent given probabilities. Now in the previous video we saw that two events are independent if they don't affect each other. So an event could be something like uh, throwing an even number on a dice or tossing a coin and getting a heads. Those events, some kind of like outcomes that you might get. And we saw that if two events are independent then they don't affect each other. So the outcome of one doesn't affect the outcome of the other. And we have this formula here, the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So just to give a very quick example of that, that we can relate to, if you want to find the probability of getting a head on a, a fair coin, and then you throw a dice and you've got a five, so it's five on a fair dice. And we want to find the probability of them combined. So we've got the head on the coin and we've got the five on the dice. Well, because the coin and the dice don't influence each other, whatever you toss on the coin, if you've got a heads, that doesn't influence how you're going to throw your dice. It's not going to make it more or less likely that you're going to get a five. So they're independent of each other. They don't affect each other. And we can therefore use this formula. So we can just do the probability of getting the head on the coin. And the and we can just do as times. Um, and then the five, we find the probability of the five on the dice. And if we do that, the probability of getting a heads on a fair coin is just a half. And the probability of rolling a five on a fair dice would just be a sixth. And then a half times a sixth would be a twelfth. So that would be the answer. Now, let's apply that to this example here. A and B are two events. And we want to find whether they're independent or not. Now, if they were independent, then they would follow this particular formula here. So if we just write out this formula again, the probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. So the probability of A and B is 0.1. The probability of A is 0.4. And the probability of B is 0.2. Now if you simplify each side, 0.4 times 0.2 is 0.08. And we've got 0.1 here. Clearly, they're not equal to each other. So I might put a not equal to, not equal to here. And because they're not equal, it doesn't obey this formula. And therefore, A and B are not independent. So you need to make a conclusion. So we can say, therefore, that's the therefore symbol, A and B are not independent. So it means the two things, A and B, do influence each other.